Hi, welcome to this class. Today's, uh, this little lesson that I'm doing over here, I am pre-recording it as you can see. That means I am standing right here and there is a camera in front of me and I do have a microphone on me so that way you can hear my voice perfectly well. Now in this demonstration, as you can see, I am trying to emphasize a few things. I'm trying to emphasize a few things. Now because I, I know how to perform in front of a, a, a video camera, uh, because I do make a lot of YouTube videos, so I kind of know, I kind of understand a few things. Plus I have also taken certain uh, lessons in film, so that way I understand how is it you are supposed to be in front of a camera. Being in front of a camera is actually a very nice way of learning, especially when you're trying to better yourself as a good presenter. A presenter is somebody who stands on stage and presents an idea or maybe a bunch of ideas or maybe trying to sell some kind of a product to either a small group of people or maybe a large audience. Now it's very important that when you are actually on stage and you're speaking that you are comfortable with yourself. Now this is very hard, of course, it took me a very long time in order to reach a certain level where I can be perfectly, perfectly myself uh, when I'm actually talking in front of an audience is because I understand the tone of voice. I understand my voice and how I speak. In other words, if you are talking to a group of people, it is essential that you don't need to rush. You don't need to speed things up. You can actually speak stop and then you can continue speaking again. Uh, in class uh, I did mention, in class I did mention that there is something known as talking points as compared to a speech. A speech is basically something that is pre-written, a script is pre-written and what you do is you have it in front of you and then you kind of like read it and you speak. Even though that is the most common way of actually doing things and a lot of important people you may see on TV do it also, uh, it's it's kind of a little bit a little bit uh, it's 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 not too comforting because you might end up forgetting certain things and if you end up forgetting certain things you might end up making a mistake you might start flipping pages to say oh my god um, um, where I, where was I which which line I was and the next thing you know you end up making a mess of the whole thing so that is one way of actually making a presentation where you actually have a speech or a script that you actually uh, read in front of a camera or in front of an audience. Now the other one is known as talking points. Talking points is a little bit more easier. In other words, what you do is you look at a point and you simply talk about it. But of course you need to rehearse the material much in advance. You must rehearse the material much in advance. There is a guy who I really like and uh, of course he sadly passed away. His name is Steve Jobs. He's the guy who's in charge of Apple or at least responsible for Apple the way it is today. And it is said that whenever he made a presentation, and of course those of you who know Steve Jobs, you know that he is one of the best presenters or considered as one of the best presenters in all corporate America, like in all uh, company-wise. Like he's just very good in what he does. It's always sold out. That means everybody wants to go and see him speak. And what people don't realize is that before he actually does any kind of event, he rehearses for at least 31 days. I'm gonna say it again. He rehearses the entire speech, the entire presentation, every single thing, he rehearses for at least 31 days. And there's a couple of things that he does. Okay, it's not just like he's rehearsing in his house or something like that. He will go to the venue, that means the place where the event is gonna take place. He will rent it out for 31 days before the event. And he will go, turn on the light, uh, you know, stand on stage, and he will have a couple of people sitting in the audience, sitting somewhere in the front, sitting somewhere in the back, so that when he's rehearsing, they are actually giving him notes that is he looking correctly? Is he engaging the audience far behind? Because remember, when you're speaking, you should not just speak to one person. You should be speaking to nearly everybody in front of you. Now that's a little bit tricky. That's a little bit difficult for some because some people will just look at one person and 
when they are speaking, they will simply speak to that person. They will say, uh, thank you very much, I am here today. I am here to talk about something. And they will keep looking at that one person. As if everybody else in the room is not there. You know, it's, it's like, oh, nobody's there except that one person. And other people start getting very disconnected. Because what happens is if you keep speaking to only one person, could be your friend sitting in the audience, uh, because you're nervous and you don't want to look at anybody else, and then you're just looking at that one person. And what happens is, is everybody starts switching off. They're just like, oh, yeah, they're just having a conversation together. It's so boring. But a good speaker, a good speaker understands that in order to be successful in front of an audience is you must have eye contact with nearly as many people as you can in the audience. When I speak, what I do is I try to look at everybody and sometimes I might even look far away in the distance. Like maybe I'm thinking about something. Maybe I will make a presentation saying, you know, when I was in New York and I went to do this store, so I will talk to the audience, but I will also be looking somewhere in a dream state, like I'm trying to think and remember the story that I am trying to convey to my audience. So in case you don't want to keep eye contact with the audience at all time, you're most welcome to look far away in the distance just to give yourself a little bit of a breather and then that way you can come back. Now, if you're watching this video right now, you will notice that I am actually using a lot of hand gestures. Plus, I am also looking over there. I'm looking over there. I'm looking over there. And of course, as you can see, I am looking at the camera directly because I am speaking to you. I'm speaking to you. I know I'm speaking to you. Can you imagine if the camera was on and I was not looking at you and I was just basically talking over here? Uh, thank you so much for coming to my class. Thank you for, uh, for your time. Today we are going to talk about hand gestures and all that. You'll be like, who's he talking to? Because I keep looking over there. It doesn't make sense. So it is very important to understand these little things. And by the way, guys, it's practice. I don't think there's anybody who comes on stage and does it just like that. It doesn't work like that. Nobody's born with this gift. This thing is available to everybody. So when you come on stage or let's say you're at home and you're rehearsing, take a mirror in front of you. Now some of you, or actually I'm sorry, a lot of you, all of you at this point have a phone. So now you know what you do? You put the phone in front of you and you record yourself. Nobody will ever have to see your recording. You simply record and then watch it. I know at first when you do it, you'll be like, oh my God, that's terrible. Oh my God, what was I doing? Why is my hand always doing this? Why am I doing that? You will understand all these little things. And then the recording is the best way to learn because what happens is you will actually look at yourself and say, oh my God, am I actually doing that? Why am I always doing this? Why am I always holding my hair or like combing my hair? It's nervousness, right? Like, especially when you're doing it for the first time, obviously you're a little bit on the nervous side. But as you watch, like for example, you see I'm doing this video recording with a certain amount of ease. I'm very relaxed actually, even though I'm speaking a little bit fast because I don't want my lesson to be very long. Nobody wants to sit and watch a video for so long, obviously. So I'm speaking a little bit fast, but normally this is perfectly fine. But I have practiced, I have rehearsed, I have made many videos. So every time I look at my video, I will always tell myself, listen, you always keep doing this. So please don't do that anymore. Keep your hands in front of you so that people can see your hands. Don't put your hands in your pocket. This is not like some kind of, this is not like some kind of like a modeling type of thing. You know, I'm not doing any kind of, like, all kind of like, you know, all kind of, I'm not doing that kind of thing. I'm just basically speaking in front of a camera. So for that reason, I am totally comfortable by having my hands in front of me. Uh, there are some people who will actually keep one hand only, where they will put one hand maybe in their pocket, and they just like to speak a little bit more stylishly. They want to speak like that. That's perfectly okay. Uh, usually when you're in a business meeting, you don't want to put your hands in the pocket. You would like to just, you know, keep it in front of you. And uh, you don't want to do like this because you don't want to sound domineering. You don't want to tell everybody, oh, okay, you're going you're gonna to listen to me, okay? You're going to listen to me, okay? Not like that, you know? So you never put your hands on, the, uh, on your hips. You never put your hands on your hips. What you do is you basically, you know, keep it in front of you. Just be a little bit more relaxed. If you feel comfortable that you want to hold a pencil or something like that, that's fine. Some people might consider it a little bit distraction, like a little distractive. If you're holding something and you keep pointing it out, people just keep looking at the object. So what you can do is you can just basically say, you know what? 
This is perfectly fine. I can just use my hands to do it. Anyway, so this is my little um, video starter, so to speak. I just wanted to make a video just to speak a little bit, but you will notice that in this video, what I'm doing is you can see I'm actually in the center of frame. I'm not moving too much. I am actually in center. It's easy for me to do it because I'm in front of a camera and the camera has a frame, so that means I am in control of my movements because I can see the camera and I don't want to do something where I suddenly go right off you know, I, I kind of like go right away from my, from my framing. I don't want to do that. And of course, I understand that I'll be editing the video later on too. So thank you very much. And of course, I will see you guys in class. And of course, we will talk more as we go along. Okay, see you. Thank you. Bye-bye. That was pretty good, wasn't it? <laughs>